Hey, what's up guys? This is Nonstop, uh, and this is gonna be my first figure review. And this is based on the quarter scale Batman Returns Major Penguin. Um, I've been waiting for this figure for the longest since the first one. Um, yeah, um, let's do a boxing overview. Um, let's see. Like I said, this is my first review, guys, so bear with me. Everybody has to start somewhere, right? Okay, anyway, so if you have here the front, you have uh, the penguin, and then you got the side, some poses, some posing, um, and you have here the side, him posting some pictures of him, and in the back, you have the newspaper from Gotham, and you could pause it if you want, if you want to read all this. And then on the side, you got him with the code. The other side, no code. And then the top, open side window for people that are, that collect figures and they like to keep them in the box. Uh, yeah, shows all the figure pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to use my handy blade. About to open it up, unbox it, and take those ridiculous, overwhelming twist ties that everybody hates i hate them uh box i don't know if i'm gonna keep it sometimes i just throw them away I'm, i like to display my figures uh open not closed uh to, to each their own so on, on the side right here you can see the fish which in my opinion they should have given us an umbrella for this figure especially because it's the the one that actually holds the umbrella all the time or yeah it, it would look cool with the umbrella and i'm pretty sure it has a little poster just like the old one anyways let me open it up and i'll be back so yeah i took it out of the box uh haven't uh taken it out i haven't taken off all the yeah just so so the code is in the back uh it's back here and it does come with that fish and an extra hand pair of hands uh has the eyeglass and the cigarette uh i don't know the exact name for it but it has the little well i'll show you guys in a bit and it has a little poster right here on the side this one right here you could just take it out uh, cut it out and it tells you right here you could cut it out and use it as a background all right guys so this is the accessories that uh this figure comes with that'll be the hat the fish which it looks like is recycled from the old figure it's exactly the same uh gripping um hand mm, pretty sure it's for the fish but uh i mean i should have included an umbrella i'm still pretty bummed out that they didn't uh, include an umbrella i know they're trying to keep costs down still an umbrella this is like a signature weapon item for the penguin and then you have a uh, the eyeglass, I'm not sure the real name for it, but uh, the eyeglass and the cigarette. So basically you can count this as two, three, and this looks recycled as well. It looks exactly like the same as the other one, which I'll be doing a comparison um, towards the end. And this is the coat, and it's actually a pretty good coat. Um, NECA is actually really stepping up their game, uh, especially with the quarter scale figures. Don't get me wrong, all the figures are really good. I collect many figures, uh, Hot Toys, um, NECA, McFarlane, Marvel, Legends, and so on, but yeah, man, NECA, for their price, can beat them, uh, especially compared to Hot Toys figures. I love Hot Toys, but they're too expensive lately, and can't keep up with all the releases. But anyways, uh, let's get this baby on, the Penguin, and before I put it on, let's see how the Penguin looks out of the box. Alright guys, so let's get a, a 360 look of uh the major penguin by the way he's standing by himself i'm not using a stand a doll stand we'll get into detail in a bit yeah man um looks pretty good man soft goods hot toes probably would never bring out one of this this figures they took so long just to take out uh, batman return so and forget about catwoman might never see her again. I mean, might never see her ever. All right, guys. So line. this is the face. Um, pretty detail. Whole new uh, head sculpt. It's not the same he uh, head sculpt, but uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. 
but I'm pretty sure this was the one uh, shown back in 2000, 2014 San Diego Comic Con. There's, there was two um, penguins with two different faces and I think this is the one they, they used, uh, which pretty, I like both, uh, pretty good. But uh, let's look at the detail, man, that's pretty good. And for a NECA toy to be this good, lately the Ninja Turtles, quarter scale, really beautiful figure. It's just amazing uh, to see this toy come alive, especially in this scale. I like collecting uh, bigger figures. I'm not really into the seven inch or six inch figure uh, as a collector. Um, I do like some figures, but not, not as much as quarter scales or one sex scales. Uh, the detail is just better. Let me take this off the tripod. I got the camera off the, uh, the tripod. Hopefully the camera stays in focus while I'm doing this review. But I mean, the detail is pretty, pretty good actually. This is not cloth. This is more of a rubbery material. It's not glued on. It's a separate piece. Um, detail, let me see. There's a little hole right here in the eye. I don't know if you can see it. So it's not a de uh, it's not defected or anything like that. That's where you put uh, on the, on the eyeglass. And I'll put it right now in a bit. Um, let me see. I like the detail, I like the dirty shirt they put right here. It's not really clean, it's pretty dirty, which I like that. Uh, like what Nika did here. The pants, let me see. Uh, those are gonna be like the same mold they used on the old. <laughs> Let's take it off. Let's see. Uh, so the pants can come off easily. And it looks like it's the same mold. Might be the same body, different hands. <laughs> That's what all the pants. <laughs> but yeah, um, boots, really good, really detailed. I like how you got the little shoelaces, just like the old one. The gloves look really, really good. Let's see. I like how. Just little details, little details like this I love in the figure. I just... There's a penguin butt. Um, it looks like this is... Yeah, it's actually a separate piece. So, the vest is a separate piece. And I don't have it on a stand. It stands pretty well on its own. I still will use a stand. Uh, only flaw I have in this figure is this. They should have... Painted this black. This sh it should have been all black instead of white, but uh, it's a minor, minor thing. <sighs> the hair, just like the old one, it comes out through here. Uh, might not look like, not might be the best. Uh, okay, the hair sticks out right there, just like the old figure, like the old penguin. Uh, might not look as best, but uh, I mean, for a hundred dollars, nobody's gonna be looking at that. Plus, these guys look like statues. They don't look like figures, in my opinion. That's why I love them. But yeah, let's put the pants back on. As far as the detail, man, uh, pretty amazing. Look at the ear. Uh, hopefully my camera focuses, but look at that ear. That's nasty, in a good way. Let's see, it's falling right here. I'm trying to hold the camera. And do this at the same time, but look at the ear, man. Look at the detail. Let's see. Look at the detail on that. Come on, for a hundred dollars, hot toys. You have to charge us three hundred dollars for a toy, for a figure. I mean, I know their detail, but look at this guy. If I was to take a picture, of it, this looks like hot toys. Um, I know hot toys. The paint job might be just. Well, a lot better, but come on, $100, 18 inches. This is amazing, amazing figure. Let me put the pants back on. So as far as articulation, guys, um, the figure, um, similar to the old Penguin, not much of a difference. Um, arm rotates almost 90 degrees, exactly the same as the old Penguin, 90 degrees. 
90 degree angle uh, ball joint is really limited on the arm because of the uh, what is it the shirt the rubber pretty limited I mean if you twist it yeah but then you start seeing that little white uh, joint uh, socket and let me see uh, yeah it does uh, so 90 degree on both arms 90 degrees up does rotate all let's see it does rotate all the way around so you could do a I guess let's see knees same thing um, not 90 degrees but fairly probably about 45 degrees uh, it doesn't go really forward uh, let's see it's really hard to move it with this pants on shoot well, it has pivot it has ankle pivot it goes back and forth um, I mean the legs spread open which I, I doubt anybody's gonna be doing dynamic poses with this guy I mean he could hardly move in the, in the movie I mean as far as the detail guys it's pretty pretty good um, I actually like this little thing right here hopefully the camera picks it up that little gold I like that and that's that's detail they they, they, sh the, they don't have to do any of that little detail but they go ahead and still do it that's really appreciate I really appreciate that from NECA all right let's get this guy all dressed up this is the penguin uh, with the coat um yeah you, I, I might need to iron this coat it's all over the place uh, the little pockets they're not working I was expecting for it to have a little button or a little clip just like the old one like the other penguin uh, but it doesn't have it but it stands on its own doesn't need a base doesn't need a doll base or anything one thing I did notice was the eyeglass it's pretty cloudy compared to the old one the old one you can see right through it and this one it's really I mean it's it's there and it's really hard to get get, get it in there Plus, there's a little hole right there in the teeth, so you can put the the cigarette or whatever you call it. I know there's a special name for it. Uh, but as far as the coat, I mean, this figure looks, looks amazing, man. It's this is not NECA. <laughs> NECA just doing our great things lately. But yeah, man, figure itself looks amazing. Can't wait for our Batman Returns. Need to fix this, but yeah. It's a little wrinkle, it's a little the place, uh, all the hell. Let's see. But yeah, as far as the body, it's the same body. It actually has those, those little holes, rips uh, by the belly, just like the old one. The fur on top, pretty good, pretty nice, pretty neat. This figure is amazing, man. Um, can't wait for Batman Returns, seriously. Um, I know they're gonna surprise us, hopefully on Toy Fair or this upcoming San Diego Comic Con, but this is one amazing figure, and now let me do a comparison. Right, so this is a comparison between the two penguins. Um, this one is in a stand, custom made stand, I made it. It's just like a sewer stand, nothing too crazy. But anyways, um, body is the same, height exactly the same. Uh, this one might be a little bit taller just because of the stand I have it on right now, it's the same size. See, this is what I was talking about, the, about the eyeglass. This one, let me see if you could. This one you could actually see through the glass really well. This one, uh, it's a little bit cloudy. Probably it was just my figure. But yeah, it looks like this sculpt. Um, I seen the skull before and I know it was in uh, San Diego Comic Con 2014 prove me wrong but I know it was that one but I mean I figure let me put it next to Batman and here's a comparison next to DC collectibles Batman now let's see how tall this figure is Let's 
So you have Batman, which is, let's see, around six inches and a quarter. Mr. Penguin, it's, let me see, top to bottom, uh, 15, let me see, it's around 15 and a half inches, 16 if you count a hat. So yeah, it's exactly the same as this one. I do, I do recommend you guys get a stand for them. Um, and like I said, I made this stand for him, uh, but do get a stand. You don't want these guys to fall over and just break a leg. What I mean, it's stand st standing on its own. No stands needed, but. And I know this is probably not gonna be the best review. I know there's a lot of reviewers which would do a better, um, better job than me, but you gotta start somewhere. And this is my review and I just couldn't wait and wait for another reviewer. I just had to go buy it. And of course, you cannot do a review comparison or a review about the penguin without this bad guy, this badass guy over here. Let me get it. And yep, can do a review without Batman. The Batman. That's a custom made uh, K by Tony May. And that's a custom made base by me. I mean, how cool this, this guy looks badass. I mean, that's yeah, a little custom ba made base, nothing too crazy. But yeah, I mean, Batman stands taller like he should. And it's just the little height difference right here. So yeah, Penguin might not be as small as it's supposed to just because it's sitting, I mean, it's, it's on top of that stand, but, but yeah, man. This is, we just need uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and Batman Returns. And hopefully we do get it. All right, this has been my review for the NECA quarter inch scale Batman Returns Penguin, Major Penguin. And if you guys like the review, please leave a comment. Uh, let me know anything I could improve. First video, there's always improvement. And like and subscribe. I mean, this is my first review, but it won't be my last. Uh, I have another, other figures that I could uh, review. But yeah, here you go, guys. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.